Hello, Disney Car Toys here, and today, using Play-Doh, I'm going to transform this ordinary Elsa doll into a ballerina. Woohoo! Let's begin! To transform Elsa into a ballerina, the first thing you need to do is put her hair into a bun. And I don't want to mess up her braid, so I'm just going to wrap around her hair. And then grab a little hair tie. And put it around the bun. It will be just kind of off to the side, but that looks super cute. I actually like her hair fully pulled back like that. Here's a better look at Elsa's new ballerina hair. It's really exciting. Well, enough about Elsa's hair. I'm going to roll out some Play-Doh to make the leotard. First, I'm going to cut out the front of the top of the leotard. And I'm going to do a heart-shaped neckline. Then I'll stick the piece that we just cut out onto Elsa's body. And since her body's plastic, the Play-Doh goes on really easily and it also peels off pretty easily too. Make sure you press the Play-Doh firmly to her body. And stretch it out to fit too. There you go. To decorate the top of her ballerina leotard, just break off some pink Play-Doh and roll it into tiny balls. We'll need 8 balls in total. Now I can take the hot pink balls that we just rolled out and put it at the top of her dress and just put four on each side. Now that we are done with the front of her ballerina outfit, I'll make the back. So just take a little rectangle of Play-Doh and draw a small curve into the top of it. And then cut the sides to match the width of Elsa's back. Then take that piece of Play-Doh that we just cut out and press it to her body. Now that the top of her leotard is made, we need to make the bottom, which I'm going to cut out basically like a bikini bottom. And then you want to cut curved lines in so that the Play-Doh can go around her legs. So in the end, you'll cut out basically an hourglass shape. For me, this is the part I get most nervous about, just because I don't want the Play-Doh sticking in her hip joints. So just wrap the Play-Doh around her, and then press it in on the back and on the sides. I cut my piece out a little too big, so I'll grab my little Play-Doh knife here and cut off the top. And phew, now her bottom is complete. Before I make Elsa's tutu, let's make some little ballerina shoes. So just take a little glob of the hot pink Play-Doh and wrap it around her foot. And then I need to make the laces, so just roll out a large string of the pink Play-Doh. Now the laces are pretty fun. What you want to do is grab the lace in the middle and attach it to the back of her shoe. And then wrap the laces around. You want to form a little X around her leg. There you go, make sure the shoe's on. The shoe's kind of hard to keep on. And then wrap it around a second time. And then to make it look like it's tied, I'm just going to fold the Play-Doh strings at the end here. You just want to overlap them to have them stick together. Just like this. And now we have our beautiful ballerina slipper. You'll want to do the same thing on her other foot. And honestly, these turned out great. I'm really impressed. Now for the ballerina tutu, what you want to do is take a huge piece of Play-Doh and roll it out into a big string. And you want the string to be decently thick because you want the tutu to be pretty thick. But you also want your string to be pretty long because we're going to be folding it a lot here in a second. Now that you have this huge string of Play-Doh, just fold it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you want to kind of squish it pretty tight because we want this to hold together well. take that huge clump of pink play-doh that we just made and we'll wrap it around Elsa's body. You want to stick it pretty tight to her so don't worry about pressing it too hard. Press it really nice and firm. And now my Elsa ballerina Barbie is complete. I really love the outfit, the colors, and she makes a beautiful ballerina. And I would like to thank one of my biggest fans for this wonderful suggestion. 
click on a picture to watch another fun toy video, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.